Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks on how I started tarot reading and kind of the things that I've done to get started. With tarot reading, it can get very complicated on how to actually get started because there's so many different aspects to tarot reading um, and there's also a lot of superstitions and it can kind of get overwhelming on trying to figure out what all the cards mean, how are you supposed to do it, what are you supposed to do before you get started. So this video is all about my top 10 tips on what I use to help me get started with tarot reading. Tip number one is to take your time to find the perfect deck. Now, when I first started getting into tarot reading, I had no idea to where to even buy a deck. Um, now I get mine at major chain bookstores such as Indigo um, Chapters. You can get it at metaphysics stores, look for trade shows in your area, or you can even get them off of Amazon. So these are just two of the decks that I have that I use. Um, one of them is from Amazon, this one is from Chapters. When looking at tarot, you know, it's all about your emotions and your vibe with that deck. So don't just go and buy a random deck just because you want to have tarot cards. I really recommend, you know, doing your research, looking at the artwork, reading the back of the boxes, holding the boxes even though it's in wrapper, just trying to see if you get a vibe with that deck. Because there has been times where I picked up a deck and I felt like bad juju. And I was like, nope, not gonna work for me. So really just kind of take your time to find the perfect deck for you. Tip number two is once you bought your deck, bond with it. Now some people don't like doing a bond, some people do. Um, I do mine a little bit differently. So I don't carry my deck around with me because I'm too afraid to damage it, but I bond with it by shuffling the deck and go, by going through each card. Because then you get to learn its little quirks and it almost creates a personality for your deck. You'll kind of figure out how to shuffle this deck. What do the cards feel like? And then those cards start to connect back to yourself. Each deck, you probably will have to shuffle it differently based on if what kind of card stock, if there's any type of foil on it, it makes it more slippery. So really get to learn your deck and learn how to move with it. Tip number three is to practice on yourself. Now, some people say with tarot, do not practice on yourself, but I don't believe in that. I feel like you need to practice on reading the cards for yourself and so you can focus on what kind of language that you want to use and talk out loud because when you do tarot readings you get lost in your head and if you want to start doing those on other people then you really need to focus on learning how to explain the different cards to somebody else. So when you practice, really focus on speaking out loud, using terminology, and kind of finding out what words and keywords work for you and your cards. Tip number four that I use probably every single day is going on Pinterest. Go on Pinterest, look through the different spreads, find ones that you like, and save them to a board. So that when you are going through your week and you feel like you need to do a specific spread or you need to ask a question or you just want to practice, just go through Pinterest and follow the spread guides that they have. They explain what each card is for, what kind of questions that you should ask, and exactly how to lay out the cards. And I think Pinterest is a great way for finding spreads when you are just beginning. Tip number five is to not to memorize everything. People think that when they start tarot, they need to know every little detail. No, because there's so many aspects to tarot that you need to take it into chunks. So what I like to do is I like to use guides to help me you know, learn what the cards mean, learn what kind of suit they are, what keywords are associated with those words. So there's a few different guides that you can use. When you purchase a tarot deck, it comes with a small guide. So it'll come with a book 
and when you go through the book it will tell you what each card means um, keywords with that card some books will have different spreads that you can use personally for myself I wanted something a little bit more in depth because I found the guides within the books a little vague so I picked up this book off of Amazon and it's the ultimate guide to tarot read oh my god I can't read the ultimate guide to tarot card meanings and this is by Bridget Esselmont and this is basically like a bible of tarot cards I use this book every time I do tarot because I haven't memorized everything um, so to me this is a great way to learn as well if you don't want to buy a book but you still want more detailed explanations of the cards go on to Google keep your phone with you while you're doing a reading or your tablet or your laptop you pull up a card type it into Google and there will be many different websites that go more into detail about that specific card while you are doing your tarot reading keep a journal next to you and in that journal write down different things that are happening during the tarot I have a template that I'll also leave in the description below that I personally like using and I journal almost every single time I do a tarot reading because it's nice for me to look back on the different readings that I had um, and to see what kind of card combinations I had for my specific question or my mood for that day. Tip number seven is to have others read to you. So you can go to psychic fairs, you can find your reader in your area, go there, have them read to you, and focus on what they're doing and how they're spreading the cards. What kind of shuffle are they doing? What kind of words are they saying? What are they having you focus on? Because everyone uses their own type of balance to read tarot, and you need to find your type. Some people will have you hold a crystal. Some people will have you hold the cards. Some people won't want you touching anything. So when I said before, there's a lot of different aspects of tarot, there is, and everyone has their own type of personality and swing off of their tarot. So I recommend going to different professionals in the area and see what they're doing. Because I'm the type of person that's monkey see, monkey do. So I have a hard time reading about how to do something. So I like visually seeing what other professionals are doing to help me kind of figure out, oh like, oh hey, like yeah, I get that, I wanna do it kind of that way too, or nah, that type, not for me. So by going to visit professionals in your area, one, it is super fun and you can learn off of it, Two, it goes into tip number eight, which is finding a community. Once you find a community, it just makes it more fun. And you get to interact with people that have the same hobbies as you. Um, you don't have to find a community in person either. There are many Facebook groups. Go onto Instagram and use hashtag tarot beginner or anything along those lines. And you're gonna see hundreds of people posting pictures of their spreads of them just starting out comment on them and you know grow some friends and form some sort of community that way because then you'll all get to learn together and share your accomplishments and your findings tip number nine is that there are so many superstitions don't get caught up in these superstitions now if you are more interested in the superstitions then i recommend definitely researching them and figuring out exactly what they all are but i'm going to be honest there are so many and each tarot reader that I speak to has their own different superstition that I've never heard before. So I personally recommend don't get caught up in the superstitions, just focus on yourself and what works for you. I believe that tarot should be your own, you should be having fun, and to not focus on the superstitions of others around you. And lastly, trust yourself. Tarot reading, there's a lot of information and it can get overwhelming. But you need to understand that not every time you do a tarot reading that you're going to be right. You're going to make mistakes and that's going to happen. But you got to trust yourself and just get started. The hardest part with tarot 
is actually getting started because in my experience I was embarrassed because I didn't want to read on somebody else I didn't want them to look at me like either I was dumb or I didn't know what I was talking about or I was just you know some crazy lady trying to read cards to them just trust yourself get started own it because when you own it it's just gonna make the experience so much better for yourself that was my 10 tips on how I personally got started with tarot reading and what I used. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave me down a comment below on if you are a tarot reader, if you are just starting, or if you're wanting to start. I would love to build a little community here on this video so that we can all share each other's tips and tricks with one another. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.